In some public places like hotels, malls, and airports, network access management is essential. With an Omada SDN controller, you can configure the voucher portal for different users, which can control the network access of users according to their privileges. This video will guide you through configuring the voucher portal for users with different privileges via the Omada software controller. With the portal function configured on the Omada controller, EAPs authenticate wireless clients and the gateway authenticates wired clients when they try to access the internet. Only the ones that pass the authentication can be granted. To create a voucher portal, add a new SSID with security set to none in Site View first. For example, go to Settings, Wireless Networks, click Create New Wireless Network. Specify the network name, SSID, as TP-Link Portal and select None from the drop-down list of security. Click Apply. Now the new SSID has been added. Next, go to Settings, Authentication, Portal, and click Create New Portal. Specify the portal name as TP-Link Hotspot, for example, and then enable Portal. Select the newly added network name, TP-Link Portal, in SSID and Network. Select the authentication type as Hotspot and check Voucher in Type. Then enable HTTPS Redirection. With this option enabled, unauthenticated clients will be redirected to the portal page when they are trying to browse HTTPS websites. You can also specify a URL which the authenticated clients will be redirected to for the landing page. If you keep using the original URL, clients will be directed to the URL they request after they pass portal authentication. If you choose the promotional URL and input the URL tplink.com forward slash en, for example, Clients will be directed to TP-Link's official website after they pass portal authentication. Click Apply. Now you can see the portal has been created. With the Hotspot Manager function on the controller, you can configure the voucher according to your actual needs. Click Hotspot Manager in the drop-down list of sites to enter the management page. Go to Vouchers, Voucher Groups, and click Create Vouchers Group. Then specify the corresponding parameters. Please note that the download limit, upload limit, and traffic limit on this page are only available for wireless clients connected to the SSIDs with portal authentication enabled. To limit the rate of wired clients connected to the switching gateway, please go to Settings, Transmission, Bandwidth Control. Here, limited usage counts restricts the number of times a wireless client can access a network with a voucher to your specified value. Limited online users caps the simultaneous network access of wireless clients using the same voucher to the value you set. You can choose to configure a duration for the voucher or for the clients, and further configure it by time or usage. In addition, the Hotspot Manager supports rate and traffic limit for vouchers. Once the traffic limit you set is reached, the clients can no longer access a network using the voucher. And the remaining usage counts of the voucher will be reduced by one, if applicable. If you want to create a voucher without traffic limit for VIP users, don't enable a traffic limit here. When complete, click Save. The group information will then show. In the Action column on the right, you can view more information about the voucher group, or print unused vouchers. Portal authentication can work with Access Control Policy, which can determine the network resources accessible to clients failing to pass a portal authentication. Let's take a look at such a case. A customer has arrived at a booked hotel. Before he checks in, he won't receive the voucher code. But with pre-authentication access, 
his phone will be able to access Amazon.com once connected. To achieve this, go to Settings, Authentication, Portal, Access Control. Enable Pre-Authentication Access and click Add on the right side of the page. Select URL on the pop-up and enter the website www.amazon.com. Click Save. To verify this function, use an unauthorized phone to connect to the SSID. When you try to open a certain website like ebay.com, it will redirect you to the portal authentication page instead. However, if you try to open amazon.com, the website will be available. To enable staff devices to bypass manual authentication and access the network automatically, you can use the authentication free client function. Go to Settings, Authentication, Portal, Access Control. Enable Authentication Free Client, then click Add on the right. Select MAC address on the pop up and enter the MAC address of the devices to be added. Then click Save. Now, once the devices connect to the SSID, they will be authorized and connect to the internet automatically. We can see the device status in client list. 